what's up everyone we are back with our cozy coop episodes so if you didn't watch the last episode of our cozy coop you've seen that we blew the motor up few moments later the car just feels all wrong Engine blue. How? I'm not a mechanic, Harry. I'll let you seen that. What we got going on? Here's old Cozy Coop. And what was the issue was, after it popped, we went to restart it, and our pull starter actually won't pull at all. It is completely locked up. I have personally never had a motor like this pop. So, I'm kind of interested to see like what happened internally. Um, either there's just like, either something happened with the crank, or the piston got so hot, and it ended up either breaking or becoming lodged in the cylinder, would be my guess, but usually when that happens and it cools down, it'll sometimes release. So, I don't know exactly, my only other guess would be our clutch, we've, we've had multiple issues with this thing, getting so hot. And because the unit's so heavy that the the clutch wears so bad, and the fact that we just keep on running and running it till it it uh, breaks usually, um, sometimes it might break and and lock up the whole motor. So that could be it. Regardless, this motor is over eight years old now, has a lot of runtime on it. We were really milking along. It was just it was tired. It was done. It was time for an update and more power. So this motor here was kind of a generic uh, build by an RC shop around us and they claimed nice nine horse from it but it was never like dynoed or, or anything like that so them saying nine horse was like they did you know bolt onto this that ported blah 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 and they probably assumed that it was somewhere maybe within that region I personally don't think it's anywhere close. Me running motors with less power, um, I feel like this one was spicier. Uh, I used to run a uh, one that was under five horse, and this one was spicier, but it never felt like it was like double the horsepower, you know, spicy. So, what we got for you guys now, we are going to break this apart, and we're going to see real quick and see what's wrong with it. What we have are some nice new upgrades I want to show you here first things first is we got our OBR motor which we had custom built for us now this sucker is quite the unit you can see it's got a lot of you know it's gonna breathe way better and the other part of this too this motor can only run on 110 octane so we do have some 110 octane that we purchased uh, we were gonna be using our dragon fuel they say we can use oxygenated but we can only do shorter runs, probably because it is going to run the motor hotter. We don't want to do that. 110 will be good, so we're going to stick with that. But this motor, I mean, it is spicy. So, really good build, really good company. They claim a little over 9 horsepower with this, depending on your pipe setup. We are not changing our pipe setup. I... It works with the cozy coop and everything, but I like how our, our pipes come out here on the back side. So I'm not going to change that. And that's actually not a bad pipe setup. That pipe there, I forgot, was this like a CPI brand or, or something like that. Um, but that thing right up there cost us 200 bucks. So that was a good pipe. Um, there are a couple other ones that may be slightly better, but we're going to stick with what we got. Uh, we also got a way larger carb that is matched for this motor uh, we did we're gonna kick our starter or to the side and we're going to turtle racing which we have a decent amount of components of turtle racing because they are the cat's meow for anything fist scale and what's great about this is that it's got a metal pause and all that and it should 
make starting the motor fairly easy. We also got an outerwear, which will go and help block some of the vents here. Don't know quite how that's going to work since the back of the motor has spots on it to where it could breathe, which I guess they all do. But regardless, they recommend this if you're running in the sand. Then obviously we got one for our air filter too. Try to keep the motor, you know, from intaking sand, which I know that our other motor did. Uh, little things like, uh, what is that? Switch. We got a, uh, because we were having issues with our receiver switch kept on kicking off. And it was making it a little bit hard to get our videos and all that stuff. We do have an extra cozy coop. We actually got two of them. But I don't think we're going to need those because this body is still fairly solid. We do got a little a little bit right here. And our door does sometimes pop off when we hit something too hard. But that's all the name of the game. Still have our bracket up here too. Uh, which we got a fresh set of copper lights for. So that'll be good. But we're going to get this thing apart real quick. And see why that motor is locked up we're going to show you that and then on our next video we are going to start building well we'll, t we'll probably i don't know how much we want, whatever we're going to start putting that motor into here we got to get it broken in without the cozy coop body because we don't want to break it in overheating the motor right away it's going to have to have some easy runs to get the break in but once the motor is broken in we're going to put our body back on get it all situated and it should be a should be a pretty good ripper so i'm pretty pumped about this uh we actually have had this set up since like uh, January and uh, OBR was pumped I showed them some of our videos and all that and they're like dude you gotta show us you know once you get the motor in so psh, no problem alright so so far I haven't found the issue so we're on the clutch side and as you can say see in there there's literally a pile of clutch which we suspected but it didn't come apart on us yet there is absolutely no shoe left though we are definitely down to the metal when we're running it um actually surprised it was still moving but this is not turning this should spin and it is completely locked up so all our bearings actually been good so far which i thought our drivetrain is good uh, we had replaced all these bearings and even re-service the differential, the diffs, or diff. And uh, we had put new uh, drive shafts on too, which we just got to check those, make sure everything's tightened up. So next thing is, we're going to just pull the whole motor out. So we got a couple things to uh, undo, get this motor out, and then we can start pulling, uh, probably just pull the head off and see what it looks like in there. And then we'll go from there. Alright, so I see we got this thing completely tore apart. Um, pulling the bolts off the head right now, so I figured I'd just let you guys see what's going on here. Woo boy. Yep. She's spicy. <laughs> Alright, take a look at this, guys. Blew a hole right through our piston. Bunch of debris. So, pretty much, uh, once this popped here, uh, all the shards went down into the motor there and instantly locked it up. So, I highly doubt this thing was running. What? Who knows? It might have had maybe maybe it had a pinhole. So, there you go. That's what's wrong with our motor, which, oops, come right out. And with a little cleanup, get all these dang leaves out, we'll be ready for a fresh unit. Now, so it actually didn't take me long at all getting that all apart. So, my goal is get this thing all cleaned up and start working on it tomorrow night and hopefully get it done in uh, one night as far as get most of it done. Um, one of our other, one more issue we have is when we were trying to get running one time, um, we were mess, we didn't bring our battery charger, so we were doing everything to try to override our kill, killer B switch. So we were like ripping in this thing because it was so inconvenient, and then we lost our battery holder, and the battery was flopping around, and 
we gotta redo all the wiring. We gotta make sure our killer bee system is working properly. We're gonna make sure everything's absolutely dialed in. So from the front to the back, we definitely have a rebuild going on here. It won't be too crazy. It shouldn't take me too long, but we definitely have to make sure everything's in working order. And that's why we're doing this, getting ready for the 4th of July, is because if there's any parts that we need to order, we need to get going on that ASAP. So that's what we got going on. That's what's going on with the Cozy Coop. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you later. Thank you.